we've got to make that transition. If you are vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask outside. It'd be a very unusual situation. If you were going into a completely crowded situation where people are essentially falling all over each other, then you wear a mask. <laughs> but any other yeah. time, if you're vaccinated and you're outside, put aside your mask. You don't have to wear it. The uh, information that we have now with literally uh, almost 200 million people having been vaccinated here in the United States and, and worldwide. I mean, we've administered 264 million doses in the United States. The safety profile is really quite firm and sound. So, I mean, first of all, you don't want to, uh, in any manner or form, have the parents feel like they're doing something wrong by questioning. I mean, it's the perfectly normal thing to be concerned about your children and to question. And that's the reason why you want to get them as much information as you possibly can and be very open and transparent about the information. It is very important for children to get vaccinated. One, because even though it's quite true that if children get infected, the seriousness of the infection in children is clearly less than the potential in certain adults, particularly the elderly and those with underlying conditions. But we are starting to see younger people get into serious trouble, again, at a very low rate, but serious trouble. But the other aspect of it that they need to understand is that when children get infected, even though they may not, in fact, get serious illness, they could inadvertently and innocently pass the infection on to someone else, perhaps another member of the family who is vulnerable and could get into trouble. 